Today, let's shift an image to have contrasting colors. Welcome to the Friday Focus. Providing tips and inspiration for your photography. Contrasting colors can be the key to a beautiful image. A great way to make a photo more striking is to have your subject's colors pop out from the surrounding environment. Sometimes your model's outfit will work so well in a location that this contrast is achieved in camera and completely naturally. But other times, you may want a little bit of help from Photoshop to manipulate your color palette. Alright, so I've already gotten in here and done some quick adjustments to my image in Camera Raw before I open the image up. And that way I've got the brightness all ready to go at the settings I need to do my color work on this image. So I'm going to go ahead and say Open Image. If you're working with an image that is not a raw file to start with, you can actually open your image, then go up to Filter, Camera Raw Filter right here, and this opens up this pretty much the exact same menu that I had opened up earlier. And you can make adjustments to your image to get the settings to the right area and make your image well exposed. But I don't need to do that. So I've already got this image open. We're gonna go ahead and go to our layer menu right here. Go down to our adjustment layers right here, this little half circle button. Click on it and grab selective color. So I've got a selective color um, layer now added to our image and I can make some color adjustments to that right here. So to do that, let's go ahead up here to the selective color adjustment layer menu and we're going to go ahead and start with magentas. Since I'm trying to get my colors to have a contrasting feel to them, I really want this dress to have a really bright red look. And we've got a great start here with a magenta dress. It's going to be really easy to change the color on it because it's the only magenta really in this whole image. So I'm going to go ahead and change my magentas by adding some yellow. And that's going to red this dress up quite a bit. Also going to add a little bit more magenta to it and then take it away from teals and brighten it quite a bit. So just those few quick little changes right here turns our magenta dress red. With that done, we're going to go ahead and create a second adjustment layer. So I'm going to go down here again to our adjustment layer button and make a new selective color. And the reason I'm doing that is because with those red adjustments made to this layer right here, I don't want to affect any of the other color in the image. And we might go back through on this layer and remove color, especially if you have an image that has uh, similar colors to the part you're trying to adjust, you're going to want to go through and fix those later. So with the selective color layer 2, we're going to go up here, making sure we've got it selected. We're good and we're going to go to the whites. The cool thing about this image is we have a subject here that has a lot of mid-tones and darks in it, but then we also have the surrounding scape that is mostly bright and light colors, or whites. So using whites in our selective color menu here, we can move in some yellows. And as you can see, that adds a lot of mood to the surrounding area already. Then we can go up to our magentas and just add a tinge of green to it. And then in our cyans, we can add a little bit of cyan. And what we're doing here is we're kind of creating a, an opposite for our red color. So by adding just a little bit of this color in to our yellows, we're creating a scape background that contrasts our model's dress color and that really makes the model pop out a lot. So I actually think we're pretty good there. Now with our first uh, selective color here, like I was talking about, you might not want magentas to be changed all across the image and there may have been slight changes in our model's skin tone here. So to make sure that those aren't affecting the model's skin tone, I'm actually going to go ahead and click on this mask layer on top of our adjustment layer right here. 
and I'm going to go ahead over here Make sure that we're in the blacks and whites. I want black because um, black removes the image adjustments, whereas white adds to it. And then I'm going to go up to my brush tool right here. Click the brush tool. Just check my um, hardness, which is soft. I'm actually going to go ahead and say, yeah, let's keep it soft for now. Opacity, 24. Let's make that maybe 60. And I'm going to use the bracket tools to adjust my brush size and just lightly remove any potential changes we may have had on the model skin. Do the same thing for the reflection. There we go. That way we know that we definitely were not adjusting any magentas or reds in our model skin. So with those two adjustments made, I'm going to add one more adjustment layer here. So we're going to create a adjustment layer for brightness and contrast. I actually want brightness and contrast to be on top of these. In our adjustment layer of brightness and contrast, we're going to go up and just maybe add a little bit more brightness to this image. Maybe down the contrast just a little bit. Okay, so there's one last thing I want to do. Um, maybe you notice in this image, if you look up at the top level right here, it's just got this green coloration to it. Down on this edge right here, we've got um, a little bit of red toning coming through. I want to add some of that to this upper edge right here, just for compositional reasons. So we're going to create a new layer, just a plain new layer. And then we're going to go over here to our dropper tool. We're going to grab that color. And with that color grabbed, let's go ahead and go into it, find out precisely what this color is. Maybe I want it to just be slightly redder and add a little bit of toning to it so we can down the opacity. All right, so with that done, let's grab our brush tool right here. Down this maybe to about, actually, let's go ahead do 100% opacity on this layer and just brush in that color right there. Obviously that's way, way, way too thick. So we're going to use our opacity now while on that layer and down it until we get it to a level that seems appropriate. And I want to erase a little bit of it now, so I'm going to make sure that it has a layer mask by this little button right here. Click on that. I've already got my black selected. And I'm just going to down the opacity a bit. Just remove some of that from right here. Upwards until I've got it to a level that I'm happy with. So there we go. It's just a really subtle little touch of color. So, with that done, I think we've got our finished image. We've just taken our dress, we've made it this bright, vivid red color, and then we've used the whites in our image to add a bit of a greenish cyan touch that contrasts that red. And I feel like that really helps our image quite a bit. Enjoy using contrasting colors in your own images. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Friday.